This is our purpose-built home therapies training room where we look after patients who are either on home haemodialysis or planning to go home on haemodialysis. So we've got several different stations here. As you can see we have three of the Fresenius stations and then we also have one of the next stage machines. These two Fresenius machines are set up like a normal dialysis unit in that they're connected to the central ring main and um, can be used to dialyse patients uh, as we would in centre. This particular machine is set up specially for home therapies and then it shows what a patient would expect to have to convert in their house. So we have a media panel here on the wall which has the filters and the reverse osmosis machine and the water softener. This is connected to a home water supply and that requires some building works. It's then connected to the haemodialysis machine, which in this case is the Fresenius 5008S, which stands for a slimline function. So they are generally smaller than the um, in-centre dialysis machines. Then, once all of the installation has been done, the patient will come here and finish their training. The patient's journey onto home haemodialysis normally starts in-centre, where they will be identified either by the staff or the consultants to say that they would like to do haemodialysis at home. We then contact the unit that they're with who will then help train the patient to dialyse themselves. So they will start what's called a self-care programme. They'll learn to um, line the machine, prime the machine, prepare it for dialysis. They'll also learn to um, use uh, their own dialysis access. Normally we would like patients to dialyse at home using an arteriovenous fistula or an AVF um, but some patients will go home using the central dialysis line. Once the unit that they're dialysing with is happy that they are self-caring and can do all of the dialysis themselves, we will then contact the company to go out and do the conversion works to put in the media panel. Then we'll arrange delivery of the machine and the dialysis chair and the ancillary supplies, which is the fluids and the needles and the equipment. Once all of this is in place, we'll then get the patient here to begin a sort of finishing school, two week training program, where we'll make sure that we're happy, that they know what they're doing, that they're safe, and that they're happy to go home and do the dialysis at home on their own. Ideally, we would like a dialysis carer to be with them. This is normally a family member and someone that can either help with the dialysis, help with the dialysis access, or someone who is at least in the house with them whilst they're dialysing, just in case there's any problems with the machine or that the patient should become unwell.